Hi dear students, my name is Ceyhun Ismailzade. I am an associate professor at the Department of Lung Diseases. Today our lecture, our topic is tuberculosis, etiopathogenesis and methods of examination of tuberculosis. As you know, tuberculosis is an Chronic infectious diseases caused by the bacilli mycobacterium tuberculosis. It's the archaic names, it's the thesis from Greece, it means consumption or AOL. And the uh, physiology or physiatry a branch in medicine means the care, treatment, and study of tuberculosis. Worldwide, TB is a war one of the top 10 causes of death. In 2018, tuberculosis caused uh, an estimated 1.7 million uh, deaths. And the best estimate is that 10 million people developed tuberculosis disease in uh, 2018. From this, 5 and 8 million men, 3 and 2 millions women and about uh, one million children two thirds two thirds were in eight countries so 90 percent cases were adults aged more than 15 years and uh, two thirds were in eight countries uh, india china Indonesia, uh, Philippines, Pakistan, Nigeria, and Bangladesh, and South Africa. These uh, seven and 22 other countries, in summary, 30 countries, in WHO's means uh, World Health Organization list of 30 high TB burden countries, accounted for 80. 7% of the world's cases. Only 6% uh, persons of global cases were in the European regions and uh, America. In America, only 3% cases. Drug resistance TB continues to be a public health crisis. The best estimate is that worldwide in 2018, uh, half million people developed, developed uh, TB that was resistant to rifampicin, the most effective first-line drug. And of these, 82% has MDR, it means multi-drug uh, resistance. And three countries accounted uh, for almost half of world cases of MDR, multidrug resistance, I mean, it's the India, 24%, China, 13%, and the Russian Federation, 10%. Tuberculosis is an old disease, uh, dear students, and uh, studies of human skeletons show that it has affected humans uh, for thousands, thousands of years and ancient documents written by people and uh, uh, 500, 500 uh, years before our century in Germany in 1905 by Bartos was found the skeleton traces uh, with the TB lesions of the spine have been found and uh, and uh, even the spine have been found in uh, of the skeleton of Egypt uh, numerous and the same uh, I want I want to give the brief information about history of tuberculosis and one of the main uh, 
historical information it's the uh, about Koch as you know the Robert Koch the German scientist it's the famous uh, scientist uh, was able to isolate the tubercle bacilli and presented this uh, extraordinary results to the Society of Physiology in Berlin uh, Berlin on 24 March in 1882 and these days as you know uh, these days we as you know I mean uh, 24 March 18 uh, I have 24 March in world uh, and uh, the this event that is now commemorated every year as World TB Day in the world. Etiology of uh, tuberculosis. Uh, as you know, the tuberculosis, uh, it's the airborne diseases caused by the bacterium, we said. My, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis and seven very closely related mycobacterial species. It's mycobacterium bovis, uh, Africanum, Microti, uh, Capri, Pinibeti, and Canetti, and uh, Mangi. This together comprise what's known as the mycobacterium tuberculosis complex. Most, but not all, of these species have been found to cause diseases in humans. It's mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, human type in 92 person cases, mycobacterium bovis, bovine type 5% and uh, mycobacterium africanum or intermediate type in 3 person cases. And there are the atypical uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, and uh, they cause the, the mycobacteriosis this disease is named and the French scientist Rognon divide these atypical mycobacteria for four groups photochromonicinic uh, which can grow in, in the light scotochromogenic which uh, which uh, pigmented in the Grows pigmented in the uh, night, non photochromogenic and fast growing mycobacteria. Uh, and mycobacterium uh, tuberculosis uh, it's the length of mycobacteria uh, from one to six microns, and thickness uh, 0.2 from 0.2 to 0.6 millimeters. The cell wall consists of three external layers, each having a thickness of 10 nanometers and well definite thin, uh, thin and the mucose of layers. Consists consist from cytoplasmic, cytoplasmic membrane, mesosome and nucleus. How we are infected and uh, the way of transmission uh, as you know, the mycobacterium tuberculosis is carried in airborne particles called droplet nuclei of one from one to five microns in diameter. Infectious droplet nuclei are generated uh, when persons who have pulmonary tuberculosis disease cough, sneeze, shot, or even sing. So by coughing, by sneezing, by shutting or singing, even uh, they uh, they expel about seven billion mycobacterium tuberculosis per day, 
and uh, only by one coughing or sneezing or shutting they expel about 60,000 uh, droplets and uh, droplet nuclei and depending on the environment these teeny particles can remain and uh, suspended in the air for uh, several hours and uh, the big droplets they fall on uh, the soil on soil and they stay there and uh, the small droplets uh, diameter from the one and five microns per cent they, they remain in the air and we inhaled these uh, droplets like a bacterium tuberculosis transmitted through the, uh, the air not by surface contact and uh, transmission occurs when a person inhales droplet we said that nuclei containing of course droplet uh, which containing mycobacterium tuberculosis and the droplet nuclei uh, traverse from uh, the mouth uh, or nasal passages then upper respiratory tract and bronchi to reach the alveoli of the lungs and uh, the, the droplets uh, with diameter uh, till 5 uh, microns they usually uh, enters to our alveoli of the lungs and more than 5 microns they stay usually in the our uh, upper respiratory tract and what about the way of transmission and uh, there are the next uh, way of transmission as you know and with, uh, it's the aerogenic uh, way we call uh, it consists from these two ways airborne and airborne dust and we called it the aerogenic way we talked about the elementary way contact way and transplacental way and how there are four factors about uh, four factors that determine the probability of transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, and uh, tuberculosis is spread we said from person to person through the air and the dots in the air represent droplet nuclei containing tuberculosis bacilli we said and uh, what's the four factors uh, that determine the probability of transmission it's the, the first factor is the susceptibility or immune status of the exposed exposed individual and the next um, factor is the infections of the person with TB is directly related to the number of tuberculosis that uh, that he or she expels into the air and the persons who expel many tuberculosis are more infectious than patients who expel few or no bacillus of course then the next uh, determine uh, it's the um, environment environmental factors that affect the concentration of mycobacterium tuberculosis organisms and uh, the next determining factor is the exposure uh, so proximity frequency duration of exposure and etc and one of these uh, person we said that uh, per year which person we said that one patient with the chronic patient with tuberculosis he expelled 7 billion billion mycobacterium tuberculosis and per year from this patient uh, 
infected this patient infected uh, 150 and uh, sometimes uh, 200 persons and 10 or 15 uh, persons they uh, they get the uh, catch diseases and and the epidemiology of tuberculosis uh, as you know said that uh, there are four determined and there are uh, the risk factors which we divide for two parts so social factors and medical and biological factors uh, the, uh, it's what's the social factors the low massive support malnutrition staying in the uh, tuberculosis folk uh, outbreaks local wars and satisfactory living condition and employment employment and the medical and biological factors of course as you know it's the AIDS alcoholism drug addiction diabetes hormonal therapy pregnancy hemodialysis virage and risk groups I mean from uh, Epidemiology of tuberculosis depends of, of course, the risk groups. Which risk groups? The prisoners and freed from prison, military, police and employers of the prison service, the personnel of tuberculosis institution, the personnel of the other medical facilities, reception room, AIDS, and children up to three, four, five years and teenagers or the patients uh, which receive hormonal therapy, pregnancy, and postnatal period. Uh, you can see in this uh, diagram, uh, uh, by the way, the one of the main, one of the main um, indicators of the epidemiology, it's the morbidity. Uh, there are four um, indicators of um, uh, epidemiology situation where for example we, uh, we now said that morbidity mortality infection and morbidness and one of the main indicators is the morbidity and as uh, you can see in this um, uh, diagram uh, that in uh, the situation in Azerbaijan, but it's uh, calculated by the World Health Organization. It's, uh, it's not new information, but the, now this situation is uh, changed and I will try to explain and give the information, the new information. The situation in Azerbaijan for uh, per hundred thousands people it's a 70 73.5 but now the new uh, information statistical information and information uh, by the world health organization this uh, per one thousand uh, people, people now in Azerbaijan about uh, 39.8 cases and this uh, TB morbidity rate in Azerbaijan per 100,000 per 100,000 between these range these uh, years it's information about from the world development indicator indicators fdi it's the uh, independent organization they give this information and as you know uh, you can see it in, from this diagram that in the 19s the amount of the uh, TB diseases in Azerbaijan and nowadays now this 
situation in our uh, country, in Azerbaijan, I mean, uh, stabilized and and in a word, I want to give uh, some information about uh, morbidity rate in the world currently per one thousand uh, one hundred thousand people uh, the same organization information the world development indicators and this situation in Swaziland, Republic of South Africa, Sierra Leone, Namibia, Lesotho 1,350 1,000 it's very dangerous situation in these countries and good situation of course in these countries as, as you know this is our in slide the next slide San Marino, Barbados, United Arab Emirates, Monaco, St. Lucia almost without TB in these countries about pathogenesis of uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis we said that uh, uh, there are four determined factors and we said that it, uh, it depends on the social factors that we talk about risk groups we talk about statistical uh, change in the world and uh, environmental factors that uh, enhance enhance the probability that mycobacterium tuberculosis will be transmitted uh, which factors the concentration of infectious droplet nuclei we said the more droplet nuclei in the air the more probable that mycobacterium tuberculosis will be transmitted space exposure in small enclosed spaces Ventilation, in a, in adequate local uh, or general ventilation that results in in, in sufficient dilution uh, or removal of infectious droplet nuclei. Air circulation, rare circulation of air containing infectious droplet nuclei, and specimen handling, improper specimen handling procedures that generate infectious droplet nuclei and air pressure the positive air pressure in infectious patients room uh, that cause tuberculous organism to flow to other air areas of course and proximity and length of exposure factors uh, that can affect transmission of mycobacterium tuberculosis it's the the fact the duration of exposure to a person with infected TB the longer the duration of exposure the higher the risk of transmission frequency of exposure to infection person the more correct, uh, frequent uh, the exposure the higher the risk for transmission physical proximity to infected person the closer uh, closer the proximity the higher the risk for transmission and uh, what about uh, pathogenesis now I will try to uh, explain uh, in brief infection occurs when a person inhaled droplet nuclei we said containing tubercle bacilli and they reach the alveoli of the lung and this uh, tubercle bacilli uh, are ingested by by now I show this is mycobacterium tuberculosis you can see in this diagram in slide in this slide I show with by the cursor macrophage and uh, the tubercle bacilli the first the six first um, are ingested by, by 
alveolar macrophage. The majority of these bacilli are destroyed or uh, inhibited. A small number, many multiplies, uh, multiplies intracellularly and are released when the macrophage die. If alive, this bacilli may spread by way of lymphatic channels uh, or through the bloodstream uh, to more distant tissues and organs, even as you know, including areas of the body in which TB disease is most uh, likely to develop. Regional lymph nodes, apex of the lung, kidneys, brain, and bone. This process of dissemination primes the immune system for a systematic uh, response. Uh, response and and let's let's begin. I want to explain. Uh, Droplet nuclei containing tubercular bacilli are inhaled, enter the lungs, and travel to the alveoli. It's the first. Tubercular bacilli multiply in the alveoli. We'll repeat it. Then, a small number of tubercular bacilli enter the bloodstream, or we said that spread throughout the body. The tubercular bacilli may reach any part of the body, we said and including areas where TB disease is more likely to develop, we said. And the main, special immune cells form a barrier shell, for example, within two to eight weeks, special immune cells called macrophages ingest and surround the mm, tubercle, Bacillus, the cells for, form a barrier shell called a granuloma that keeps uh, the bacilli contained and under control. It's the what is this? It's the latent tuberculosis infection. And uh, if the immune system uh, cannot keep um, cannot keep the tubercular bacilli under control, the bacilli begin to multiply rapidly and uh, develop TB diseases. This process can uh, occur in different areas in the body, such as the lungs, kidneys, brain, or bone. And Persons, I want to uh, explain about, uh, talk about latent tuberculosis infection. The persons uh, with the latent tuberculosis infection cannot spread the infection to other people. A person with the latent tuberculosis infection is not uh, regarded as having a case of TB. And uh, the triggers the immune response uh, in which white blood cells kill or encapsulate most of the bacilli, leading to the formation of a granuloma. And this, this structure of the, this granuloma, which uh, consists from what? The, in the center of this granuloma is the caseous necrosis or cheese-like or like cheese and the giant cell of the lung hands and this one is the epithelial cells and uh, this lymphocytes and from extra fibroblasts it's the structures 
of granulomas, uh, which uh, consists from these uh, cells. And in uh, some people, the tuberculosis bacillus overcome the immune system and multiply. Uh, by the way, for tuberculosis process, um, uh, the characteristic for tuberculosis process, uh, which type of the sensitivity? Of course, the delay type of sensitivity. And uh, in some people, we said the tuberculosis bacillus overcome the immune system and multiply resulting in progression from latent tuberculosis infection to TB disease. Persons who have TB disease are usually um, infectious and may spread the bacteria to other people. The progression from latent tuberculosis infection to TB disease may occur at any time from soon to many years later even and uh, body fluid or tissue from the diseases side should be uh, collected for acid fast bacillus may and culture and uh, positive culture for mycobacterium tuberculosis confirms the diagnosis of tb uh, diseases it's a pat pathologic anatomy of tuberculosis by perelman as you see, the first is the primary inflammation, this one. Then the foci, the third is the tissue defects, the force is destroyed foci here, fives is the, the fibrotic foci, the sixth infiltrate, the seventh is the destroyed infiltration, then eighth is the tuberculoma, and the the next is cavity, cavity or cave in English. Then tens is the focus of cirrhosis and fibrotic cavity. It's a stage of tuberculosis process by Perelman. It's a histological preparation, TB lesion in the lung, tuberculosis infiltration in the lung, and uh, the cavity in the lung, post tuberculosis cirrhosis. It's a histological uh, preparation. The next our uh, topic, the method of examination of uh, tuberculosis. You should know about three principles and three stage how we make diagnosis. Three principles. What does it mean? We start from simple method of examination to complex. We start from cheap method of examination to expensive. And with the, of course, the third of our principles, the main principles of the, uh, the doctors, the least physical and moral effects on patients or to no harm. And, of course, uh, the three stages. The first stage we call obligatory diagnostic examination or required minimum. The first, of course, uh, the first uh, part, first of all, we start from what, uh, as you know, uh, we start to ask about complaints of uh, the tuberculosis, the complaints of the pardon uh, the patient, and which symptoms, which signs uh, will uh, suspect that it's the tuberculosis uh, symptoms, tuberculosis patient. This is the, uh, the symptoms of intoxication. The symptoms intoxication mean that the general malaise, fatigue, the low-grade fever or 
subfebrile fever uh, 37.2 from and to 37.8 of course the loss appetite loss weight of course and uh, the night sweating and hem of teas so these symptoms of tuberculosis and the first of all of course you uh, you have to ask about complaints and if the patient uh, with tuberculosis uh, uh, started to account these uh, symptoms so the first of all you can you you have to think about tuberculosis process of course the subject we have object examination the next it x-ray fluoro uh, method of examination the first the examination stage include this method of examination a microscopic or microscopic of sputum of course a general clinical analysis of blood urine even uh, stool or mantle test or uh, the skin test or skin test if after this stage we don't make diagnosis and in this stage we make diagnosis only in 23 percent cases we have next you should know about these methods additional method of examination what does it mean additional what which method of examination you start to use see the cultural methods tomography bronchoscopy biopsy methods the mri and immunology, immunological uh, or molecular genetic study and after this stage of method of examination we make diagnosis in 78 percent cases even after this stage sometimes we don't make diagnosis and we have of course the next hour method of examination is the facultative or or uh, optional methods of research or examination and we started to examine the system and organs separately uh, spirometry or spirography or biochemical analysis for example levels ultrasonography echo uh, gram cardiogram and uh, ECG and radionucleated masses and even after these three stages uh, dear students we make diagnosis only in 93-94% cases what should be done if we don't make diagnosis we have the next uh, methods not methods it's the uh, probe treatment what does it mean probe treatment we call in latin ex uvantibus if we don't make diagnosis we use the medicine uh, i mean antibiotics uh, which uh, <clears throat> which uh, may affect against uh, or pneumonia or tuberculosis for example after x-ray film or even after uh, computer tomography examination the radiologist specialist they write the uh, after their you know, result interpretation they write there in their uh, result that it's a pneumonia question tb question or tumor question what should be done sometimes we said that after even this three stage we don't make diagnosis and we start to use uh, the uh, antibiotics with the um, spread antibiotics effects and these ex uvantibus methods i said that it's the probe treatment it depends of our experience 
and uh, our of course intuition for example i start think that started think that it's the new mania of course and i started treat against new mania but uh, i prescribe the medicines which uh, don't kill mycobacterium tuberculosis after 10 14 days we check this person's for example x-ray film and uh, we see that the focus for example like pneumonia disappeared solved so it's pneumonia and I want to uh, talk about the man tooth or skin teeth. What is this? We use this method, uh, I mean skin test, man to test, to reveal the infected or non infected this person, persons. And we use uh, this method, skin test, I mean intradermally, and we use in 0.1 milliliter uh, two uh, tuberculin units purified protein derivative and uh, use the intradermal on the inner surface of the middle third on the of the form and the result of the reaction is um, evaluated or assessed after 48 72 hours why after two three days i explained if you remember because for tuberculosis the characteristic of for tuberculosis the which type of sensitivity we said it's the delay type of the sensitivity that's why we start to um, uh, interpret this result after 72 hours the following types of reaction you should know about this reaction is energy no reaction no reaction there are three types of the three form of the energy it's a positive negative and idiopathic hyperagic or questionable or doubtful weak or reaction size from two to four millimeters purples or redness hyperemia of any size normergic average reaction size purple size in children from five and more we consider that's the positive reaction from five to 17 millimeters and in adults from five to 21 millimeters hyperergic reaction or severe the diameter of the infiltrate in children more than 17 millimeters in adults over the 21 millimeters or vesicles or of any lymphangites it's the in children children more 17 adults more than 21 or vesicles or any lymphangites we said what about x-ray film there are as you know the fluorography and the uh, x-ray film and the rengenscopy what's the advantage and disadvantage of fluorography it's the advantage of these methods you can examine more than you know, 500 people during the day minimum exposure radiation i mean the low cost for the storage requires a minimum of place possibility of mobile examination fluorography and what of the disadvantage of this method you can skip diseases why in 30 percent cases why accuracy of detection of pathological change in in the lung root and apex in hills and the apex is much lower and we sometimes uh, skip the, this 
nuances. Then um, the other methods of rays of diagnostic as you know is the X-ray film. As you you can um, see the change in the our lungs. And the same here, it's the electrofluorography, the same patient. And uh, the next our the X-ray <coughs> Near, uh, I mean radial diagnostics methods is the CT, I mean computer tomography is very informative uh, methods of, uh, uh, for our disease for tuberculosis and um, uh, there are, as you know there are high resolution uh, CT the very Informative, informative method of examination and uh, laboratory diagnosis. We use uh, like the subjects. What we use? Sputum, pus, blood, exudates, several spinal fluid, pleural fluid, urine, and etc. And we use the bacteroscopic methods or by microscopy, by, we use the Zeal Nielsen microscopy methods, very uh, cheap, it's very simple methods and it takes 20 minutes to uh, make diagnosis or you, see, you can see in, uh, by the microscope. Then uh, Morakashi fluorescent microscopy the next bacteriological culture Mesa sitting on solid liquid and semi liquid nutrient media then molecular genetic methods polymerase chain reaction gene expert mtb reef and we then we talk about the then immunoserological methods we talk i will try to <coughs> explain about uh, quantifirome test, T spots, TB or immunofilament analysis or uh, and the radio immunosay methods etc. and the biological method infection of laboratory animals and this microscopy by the Zeal Nielsen staining and microbacterium tuberculosis in sputum here as you, you can see here, the red or rose with uh, here the preparation layer prepared from flotation, more uh, effective methods. Uh, then the mycobacterium tuberculosis cells in the lung. Here the mycobacterium tuberculosis you can see. And this uh, method is a fluorescence microscopy. Uh, we, uh, we start to color in chlorodamine aurine, mycobacterium tuberculosis, golden yellow, as you can see here. Then, the and development of uh, colonies of mycobacterium tuberculosis in solid medium, like, and we call this medium Levenstein Jensen. You can see this colonia. And here is a cultured medium, Levenstein Jensen. But what's the. Uh, I'm forget to say that. What's the disadvantage of the Zil Nissen? Uh, in one milliliter sputum, if will more than 50 thousand and hundred thousand mycobacterium tuberculosis if you will then you will uh, you uh, you can reveal by this message zilnis if less than 50 hundred uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis in one minute you will no reveal mycobacterium tuberculosis by the microscope microscope uh, bacterial uh, microscopy methods and disadvantage this methods I mean the culture 
it takes 14 from 14 till 90 90 days that's why it's, uh, it's the first of disadvantage this methods but if in one milliliter sputum one uh, from five uh, to drain your mycobacterium tuberculosis you can to uh, reveal mycobacterium tuberculosis and at the same time you uh, you can find the sensitivity examine the sensitivity to the anti anti tuberculosis medicines at the same time and the new it's very informative methods of uh, examination of mycobacterium tuberculosis in sputum it's a molecular genetic method by the polymerase chain reaction it's the the test this test is a molecular tb test which detects the dna i mean desoxy uh, acids and in in tb bacteria this test i repeat a molecular tb test which detects the dna in tb bacteria it uses a sputum sample and can give a result in less than two hours and it can also it can also remember detect the genetic mutation associated with resistance to the drug rifampicin that's the main information about this uh, message and uh, this when the who i mean world health organization endorsed genexp it was expected that many similar tests would follow shortly afterwards and uh, some organizations have uh, claimed that the genexp test is going to revolutionize the diagnosis and care of people with tb that's why so what are the advantage we said that we uh, this method can give a result in less than two hours it's a dye skin test like the skin test mom tool test but in this um, this message was start in Russia in the from uh, 2009 and this is genome of the mycobacteria tuberculosis when this uh, genomes uh, opened in 1998 and after that they reveal here three antigen uh, characteristic is uh, only to mycobacterium tuberculosis asat 6 cvp 10 and tb 7.7 .7. what does it mean early secreted antigenic target cultural filtration protein assessments of delayed type hypersensitivity reaction tuberculosis recombinant proteins these are recombinant proteins derived from specific strains of Escherichia coli this is only present in the genome of mycobacterium tuberculosis strain and the next new and modern and very informative message is the quantity ferron tb gold plus tb gold and gold plus what is this quantiferon tb gold plus is a simple blood test that aids in the detection of mycobacterium tuberculosis the bacteria which cause tuberculosis you can improve your tb testing by uh, switching 
from the TB skin test, I mean tuberculin skin test, also known as the receptor man 2 or PPD test, to quantiferon plus. It's a higher sensitivity at more than 95%, higher specific, uh, specificity of any test for TB infection, innovative CD8 plus T cell technology. And uh, uh, it's the determination of the concentration of interferon gamma produced by T cells against mycobacterium tuberculosis. And we said that uh, and uh, as a in dye skin test, we use it used antigens, these antigens isolated from fields region, region differentiation one for mycobacterium tuberculosis. And uh, uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, uh, uh, quantiferon TB uh, gold plus features innovative. We said that CD8 T cell technology that provides clinical clean sense uh, with a more comprehensive picture of the patient's immune response uh, to tuberculosis. And uh, in, uh, why we choose quantiferon TB gold plus? Because uh, quantiferon TB plus is an improved version of the industrial leading IGRA, if you remember, for TB detection, IGRA, this test, and the quantiferon TB gold. Uh, the same principle, the test the same test procedures, the same reliable technology that you trust, but it's it's now optimized with innovative tuberculosis specific antigens. The both we use both CD8 and CD4 cells response, enabling a more accurate assessment of uh, cell mediated immune response to TB infection and uh, unlike the TB skin test unlike uh, this TB skin test quantiferon TB plus is not affected by the bacil bacilli calmet gearing BCG vaccination and biological methods after infection with mycobacterium tuberculosis the Guinea peaks uh, is determined to violence depending on the time of days. It depends, of course. It's the time of days and the degree of the violence. Six weeks is the strong violence. Three months, the average violence. Three, five months, weak violence. Over five months, it's a very weak violence. Thanks for attention.